Well, hello there everyone and welcome to my channel, Time to Cook, I'm Chef Christy. I just wanna take a moment and say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. Whether you are new to my channel or you have been with me for a while, I have reached a pretty big milestone. I have now over 10,000 subscribers and I am so excited. And I just want to say how much I truly appreciate your support and your encouragement. You guys keep me cooking in this kitchen. So with all that said, let me show you what I'm going to make today. I have here a around a two pound pork tenderloin. This is actually two pork tenderloins. It's in a twin pack and I'm gonna make a delicious Dijon brown sugar glazed pork tenderloin that is so good. Okay, so I have placed my pork tenderloins onto a sheet tray lined with aluminum foil and now I am simply just going to brush on some Dijon mustard all over these tenderloins. I'm going to turn them over and do the other side. The entire tenderloin, we're going to coat it with this Dijon mustard. Okay, so that is looking good. You can also use a yellow mustard if you want. I just love using a Dijon because I feel like it gives a deeper, richer flavor. Dijon has the white wine in it and it really just gives that pork such an amazing taste. But now I'm going to make the brown sugar mixture that I will sprinkle over the pork tenderloin. So I have two tablespoons of brown sugar and to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, this is so easy guys. I'm just gonna sprinkle this brown sugar mixture over top of my pork. So I have placed my pork tenderloins on this aluminum foil for a reason. Let me tell you why. Because I'm going to fold up the edges of this aluminum foil and I'm going to kind of create a little pouch. That way as the pork is cooking and it starts to render the fat, all of those delicious juices will be kind of sealed up in this pouch. I'm telling you, this makes it so tender, moist, and flavorful. So all I'm gonna do is just simply roll down the edges and then fold in the sides as well. Just making a little pouch of flavor. And now I'm going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for around 30 to 40 minutes just until that it is completely cooked through. If you have an internal uh, thermometer, you want it to reach 160 degrees. Oh my goodness, does this pork smell delicious. I'm just going to take the pork out and place it on a platter. And then I'm going to take the drippings, the juice from this pork, and I'm going to make a delicious glaze. That's right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this foil, pour the juice in this small pot very carefully without making a mess. Here we go. Look at that. So I'm adding one teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm gonna try that first and see if, if it'll thicken, stir it, and I'm gonna transfer this over to the stove. And I'm just gonna cook this until it starts to thicken. So the sauce has thickened slightly and it's right where I want it.
This pork tenderloin is absolutely fantastic. Oh, they don't call that tenderloin for no reason. It is called tenderloin because it is tender and oh my goodness, this pork is so tender and so flavorful. Oh, you guys have got to give this one a try. Oh, it is so good. That sauce gravy is just so, so good. This would be good with mashed potatoes. This would be good with pasta. This is good by itself. It is just outstanding. I really hope that you give this a try. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And as always, I will see you soon with more recipes.